I'm here at the heart of the bathhouse renovation project where they're turning a really old building into something completely new. The bathhouse, which was originally served as an actual bathhouse for the Circle students, is going to become a student center for the kids of Lawrenceville. In the past, this place has served as a barber house, a radio center, a clubhouse for the Black Students Organization, and most recently, the sustainability and outdoor programs offices. Today we've had the opportunity to take a quick tour inside the building and that's coming up next. Yeah, we're going to jackhammer out this floor and dig down about another two to three feet wow. um, to give us a little bit more ceiling height and there will be a stairwell. It won't be from the inside and we'll be accessing it from the outside. Okay. Which is something new to the house. There's a ton of stone in here. Like, a ton of stone, um, and that was was used um, when the building was built in the 1800s to support um, construction. Wow, and you can, seems like there's technology down there. Any idea what that is? Um, we don't know exactly what that is. Um, it's probably a place where the um, furnace or boiler used to go for the original bathhouse. Um, it hasn't been used in many years, though. Wow. Okay. So, have there been any challenges so far? Um, the biggest challenge for the project is um, fitting all of the stuff that we want in the building, mm -hmm. in the new kitchen and the uh, student center, mm -hmm. um, in such a small space. Wow. R.I.P. Bathhouse. Okay, so right now we're looking at the back of the bathhouse, and when the project is complete, there will be a walkway from where that window is now, if you can see that here into a brand new all glass conservatory um, that will be basically the, the hangout spot and you can sit there and have lunch that you order on the inside and um, it'll give you views of all around so toward the library and toward the crescent houses. The bathhouse renovation is expected to be finished May 1st weather permitting. Thanks to Mr. Kesselman and the entire crew for letting us look around today.